Hi, my name is Katie and I am an analytics engineer at Seek. In this video, I will talk about how to use capsule properties. Capsule properties are data attached to an event. By default, all capsules will have the properties start, end, and duration, but other properties can be brought in from the data source or added in Seek. Here, you can see there's a condition called batch and a condition called cleaning batch. To view capsule properties, navigate to the capsules pane in the bottom right hand corner and select the black grid button. You can see the capsule property start is already displayed. We can choose to display the property's end and duration, select condition properties such as condition name or asset, and select custom properties from the dropdown such as batch ID. I can also display these properties on each capsule in the trend by navigating to the labels button in the toolbar. Under conditions, I can select the capsule properties I would like to view. Here, I will select Start, and under the Custom Properties dropdown, I will select Batch ID. Now I can see both properties displayed on each capsule. Additional functionality in the Capsules pane allows me to narrow down on specific time periods of interest by sorting on capsule properties or filtering by select properties. Here, I will sort by start time, then filter by selecting some batch IDs of interest. You can now see the display in the trend view update to show only the filtered capsules. Conditions with custom capsule properties can be created using the condition with properties tool or the formula functions to condition and set property. You can even set multiple custom capsule properties on one condition. But we won't go into those details here. Next, we will look at viewing properties in capsule time. I will navigate to capsule time to see all signals overlaid at the start of each capsule. You can see the coloring is currently assigned by signal. Using the color option in the toolbar, select rainbow. This will assign a different color to each capsule. The legend here is currently sorted by time. When I sort by the capsule property batch ID in the capsules pane, you can see the legend now denotes the patch ID property. I can also apply filtering to see only the batches I am interested in. Next, I will illustrate capsule properties in the XY plot view. To do that, I will bring up a mixer dataset with mixer power, temperature, and the mode of operation. I have created a condition called mode that has a capsule for each change in the mode of operation with the mode of operation stored as a capsule property. To create this condition, I use the formula function to condition. You can see the capsule properties are being shown in the capsules pane, idle, production, and transition. To view the relationship between mixer power and temperature in a scatter plot view, navigate to XY plot. By default, the data points are colored by time. To color the points by capsule property, navigate to the color option in the toolbar and select the desired capsule property in the dropdown. Now, the points are colored based on the capsule property, mode of operation, and I can see in the legend which color corresponds to each different mode. The color is also denoted in the capsules pane. We can also use capsule properties in the histogram tool. I will navigate back to the trend view and use the histogram tool to create a temperature distribution. In this example, I will select count as the statistic and use a value aggregation defined by the temperature signal. Then I will add an additional grouping using condition as the aggregation type. I will select the condition and specify the capsule property I would like to aggregate over, mode in this case. Now I have a histogram that allows me to see the value distribution by count over different modes. I can use the legend in the top right to change the colors of each grouping, and I can also toggle modes on and off to better view the data. This video was a short overview of some basic things you can do with capsule properties. Explore more use cases on our user community forum at seek.org.